Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. If you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Today is no different. Uh, yes, I did just film two other videos. So you're going to be seeing the same thing and my hair is bugging the crap out of me. Like, honestly, I actually styled it today and I brushed it. But because of the stupid hoodie, like, my hair is just like, no. No, we're just not going to like what you want to do. Anyway, so today I have one of my favorite new subscriptions, which is Bombs and Bubbles. Um, so this is a bath bomb subscription box. I do think that I pay $40 um, for this every month, but you get six bath bombs for $40 plus free shipping because it is $40. They also have an adult box subscription as well now. Um, but this is just their regular one. And then during um, like holidays, they do special ones, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm excited because like I, honest to God, love this company. They make some of the best bath bombs, even better, dare I say, than Lush. I am a Lush girl. I love Lush. Um, but like some of their bath bombs, I have had Lush bath bombs that stain my tub. I have never had a bath bomb from Bombs and Bubbles that stained my tub. So, and they smell fantastic. Granted, sometimes I don't always love the smell, but you know. And then this is how this one came this month. This is the card, and then this month they actually put some bubble wrap up top, which is different. I'll give you that. Um, I forget what this theme is. I think it's just rain. Um, I know that they actually said on their website, and you can see them. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. On Facebook, they're B&B &B Monthly Box. Instagram, they're Bombs and Bubbles Box. On Crate Joy or Crate Joy and Amazon, and they give you a list of everything that they use in their bath bombs. And then on top of that, it says caution: use care when entering and exiting the bathtub. Oils contained in this product can make bathtub slippery. Excessive use or prolonged exposure may cause irritation to the skin and urinary tract infection. Discontinued use is rash or redness or itching occurs. Consult your physician. Um, if irritation persists. So that is something that can happen as always, even within the bathtub itself. Girls, especially, you can get a urinary tract infection. Um, but I just like that they put this on there and then occasionally too, they'll like up a top here, it says how to use place bath bomb in a tub of warm water. So let's get on in and these I'm gonna tell you like for 40 bucks you would think like some of these are massive and I'll show you so here's the first one this is called hopper so like literally this is it fits the palm of my hand so this is actually kind of huge for me it smells good it says the bold and brisk water fragrance opens with a salty ozonic sea spray, but what develops is an ocean musk built from sea moss, driftwood, and sand. Hidden but slightly evident are crisp notes of soft violet jasmine and lily rose. So I'm definitely getting the musk of the sea. So. Okay. And then also when you think about it, so six, so what, I'm paying $8 per bath bomb, but these are freaking huge. And like some of the ones that are really huge, even at Lush, are like not as much. Oh, this is cute. This is a umbrella. This is called Rainy Day. Ooh, this one smells good. And it says, fresh tropical citrus intertwined with a refreshing aqua notes of a tropical midnight sea. Scape warm soft musk blends together to unite and enhance this fragrance. Mine unfortunately did break in half, but that's okay. 
as you can hear my cats trying to break in my room. The next one, oh, this is really cute. His name is Stormy. And it says, step into a luxury or step into luxury with this fragrance of crisp ozone, salty sea spray, seaweed, sun-soaked driftwood, and intoxicating water lily. Well, I gotta find the hole. As weird as that sounds, all these little, I'll show you in a bigger one. That smells really good too. Well, so this is called Raindrop. This is a light and a fresh scent opens with the top notes of clean citrus, followed by sweet florals of jasmine and violets, and rests on a base of cedar, sandalwood, musk, tonka, and light amber notes. Ooh. This right here. So, I love tonka and jasmine. So, that smells really good. I'll show you in Hopper if I don't find another one. Oh my god. Hold on. Okay. So this one is called May Flowers. And I can actually... Can't actually show you... Nope. So this is a delightful fruit basket full of fragrance notes and tart berries intertwined with sweet nuances of anise, powdery mimosa, fragrant jasmine, and beautiful rose blooms. Deep balsamic notes, warm musk, golden amber, and a provocative ambergris round out this amazing scent. That one kind of smells like a... Like some of the notes just kind of give off a uh, suntan lotion kind of. But then it's like you keep smelling it and you get something different every time. Okay. And here's the one that was buried. <laughs> it's a boot. This is called Puddle Jumper. It's an exotic island escape in the beautiful mix of bright citrus, sweet florals, and spicy vanilla. Hold on. I have to find the... Like I said, I'm going to... I'm going to show you what I mean by find the hole. But this smells really good too. So I think here it was more apparent. Oh, here it was definitely more apparent. There's like, it goes shiny, 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 not shiny. Because there's a big, huge hole where the plastic was missed. So this one was easy to smell. And then like something like stormy. You have to find like where like the ridges are and some of these i think it was down here this one had like a little tiny rip on it so that's where you would smell like on this one and that's just what i mean and like some of these are so fun and i remembered i forget which one i did but i did one of them and it was one of the ones from like the Halloween box and I wasn't expecting it. Oh, I did. It was a, it was a tombstone and it had a little tiny zombie bear inside of it. It was just, it's so fun sometimes. And I love this company. They're a great company. Um, go and check them out. Here are their handles again. Like, they are a great company, and I forget what they said next month was. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.